Hello guys, welcome once again to my YouTube channel. My name is Cletus Igbe. So in today's video, I'm going to show you how to run biometric uh, fingerprint student identity card processing system. Um, it's a visual uh, basic. Okay, so I'm going to show you how to run it. For this uh, project, I have used digital persona um, fingerprint reader and the sdk okay so this is the scanner that i've used okay and also the sdk all right so i'm going to show you real quick the sdk okay so these are the libraries for the sdk okay that i've used and then for the webcam instead of uploading passport manually i have implemented the webcam module where you can upload sorry where you can capture your um, passport as a student all right so i'm going to build the uh, project without wasting most much of your time um, for the database i have used scale server local db okay so build has started we need to wait for it Biometric fingerprint students identical processing system. Okay, so for the username, I'm going to enter admin, and for the password, it's also admin. All right, so we have all the menus we have the register menu, the enrollment menu, the verification. Uh, under the verification, we have sub menu, which is a process ID card, and of course the admin and the logout. Okay, so we are going to start with the register menu. All right, so um, this form is for student. All right, student registration form. Um, I'm going to enter the red number for the students. So all the data I'm going to enter here is for demo purpose, all right? Okay, so for the student name, I'm going to enter my name. For demo purpose, just that name, all right? so the department i'm going to enter computer science all right so i have uh used sample data okay just a few of them so if you get a source code you can add more faculty and of course more departments or whichever way you want to use this um source code for okay so you can remodify uh the realization form okay so for the aspiring date, I'm going to enter, just select a sample aspiring date or year. So for the upload signature, that's the um, student signature, I'm going to upload it. So I'm going to go to pictures. I'm going to say PNG, so I'm going to select this. All right, so for, I told you before that we are going to use the webcam to capture our image. All right, so I'm gonna click on start webcam. Sorry, it's nighttime over here, so the camera might not be that bright. Okay, so we have fill, filled all the forms, all the form, and we have also captured our image. Okay, so I'm going, I'm going to click on the submit button. So record has been submitted. 
all right so now it's time for us to enroll our fingerprints all right so i'm going to plug my scanner okay so i'm going to click on enrollment all right so for this i have used auto um suggestions to you know suggest uh, registered name on the database all right so i'm going to click on start enrollment all right so we have the enroll finger um from right there okay so we are going to enroll all our 10 fingers if you need to enroll just um four fingers you can actually set it okay i'm going to show you how to do that once you get the source code okay but for now we are going to enroll all our 10 fingers so i'm going to start with my right finger okay so i'll do that real quick so that i won't waste time So for the right middle finger guys if you haven't subscribed to our youtube channel please click on the subscribe button uh, and also click on the like button if you like the video all right thank you so much for doing that okay so i'm done enrolling my right uh, fingers so i'm going to start with the left fingers so the left index finger The middle finger for the left, the ring finger, all right, so the left pinky finger. Okay, so all our fingers have been enrolled okay and it has been saved automatically all right um, so for the fingerprint templates they are safe as binary data okay in my sql uh, server sorry not my sql but sql server express local db all right so um, they are safe as binary data okay not as image um, the verification is done within seconds all right and it has unlimited uh, number of records okay so you are free to use this code, uh, source code in any uh, project that you want to okay so we have registered as a student and we are uh, we have also uh, captured our fingerprint okay as you can see once you search it will indicate that this person has already captured his or her um, fingerprint okay so if you just you know enter any name and you won't be able to okay enroll your fingerprint until your registered uh, um, student okay so all right so for verification admin can verify sorry admin can process id card and also user can also process id card so the system is for admin side and also for the user side okay so for the user the user has limited um, privileges okay just the uh, process id card and the logout all right so for the admin side you would need to register the student you would need to enroll the student uh, fingerprint and 
all of that okay so we are going to process the id card from here using the user site okay so the admin can also do that all right so now to process id card touch fingerprint reader with any enroll finger okay so i'm going to use one of the enroll fingers okay I'm going to use anyone so i'm just going to touch the scanner okay so as you can see this is how the biometric uh, uh, um, student identity card has been able to process uh, it for the student okay so we have this as you can see it is well designed okay so if you get the source code and you feel like modifying the um, design changing the fields the taxes the text and all of that okay changing the logo you know we use uh university of calabar just like a case study okay so you are free to modify the source code as you wish okay so guys this is how it works you're free to modify it okay so i'm gonna stop here for now if you need the source code and the sdk check the video description okay so i'm going to leave details on how to get the um, source code so if you haven't subscribed to our youtube channel please do well to click on the subscribe button okay and also click on the like button all right so i want to do one more thing before i stop the video i'm going to log in as the admin i'm going to log in as the admin so that i'll show you um, that the admin can also process id okay so i'm going to use my uh left index finger this time to process my id card all right so as you can see it's working very well both for the admin and for the user okay so guys thank you so much for watching check the description for details on how to get the video sorry on how to get the source code for this project all right see you in my next video uh see you in my next video goodbye for now